Welcome back. No face on the video today, I can't be really. Uh Panels arrived, look at that, that's handy. Yeah. I'm not too sure how these are welded on. I'm trying to look, they're actually spot welded, big spot welds. Not actually through these holes, these holes are just, don't know why the holes are there, just lining, just lining them up on the presses or something. But yeah, looking at the other side, they're just certain spot welds. We're just gonna have to plug weld that, I don't think, because my, my spot weld arms aren't gonna easily get in there. Without modifications, well, maybe they would. But anyway, to be honest, it's much easier to do them when, when I just plug weld them because then I can have these all clamped to the inner wing. And uh, Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. So yeah, shows you that that needs across a bit. That's all right. That'll go on there. What's funny is this one's got a, a nut on there. And it must be for something. I'm sure you guys will tell me. Uh, I can't remember, is that where the brake bias bolts on on the later cars? I can't remember. Anyway, yeah, so that's good. Another dating point, which is excellento. Okay, I just marked this map. M machine in a wing repair. Oh, that was... uh, trim that down. I shouldn't have trimmed it down just yet. I'm a dope. Hey, that was alright, don't panic. So, uh, just clean the edge up. What I'm going to do is job with this edge. The uh, reason I cut some of this off um, was this panel sort of finishes right on the curve, right on the corner of the, the panel. So. I've brought this panel around more, so we're onto the flat edge now, so hopefully we can just joggle this down, and uh, job will be a good one, hopefully. Well, that's the idea, anyway. We can throw it all away if we need to. Fire up the compressor. Hey, right. put a joggle on it, as you can see, down there. Uh, I'm not too sure whether we're gonna hole punch this wing first and spot weld through, or hole punch this bit and then weld through. I don't know what the etiquette is. I suppose it really don't really matter. It just depends which side you want to weld from really. Uh, yeah, maybe if I did plug welds from the other inside, less grinding to do on the outside if anything, you know. Inside's all gonna be covered with sound ending one day anyway. Let's see if we can get it to fit or see what it looks like. All right, just trying the you know, A panel in as well. Things are looking okay, but as always, just try everything under tension. Try not to make it under tension. Making sure the A panel, you know, A panel is coming in there. There's my other mold grip. But yeah, sorry, these are just going to be boring videos from now on. I don't, yeah, maybe I should stop doing daily ones. I don't know. Again, people, let me know what you think. I don't know. You're the ones that watch it. I guess people can just not watch it if they don't want to. It's not, not the end of the world either, you know. As you can see when you pull it in, the old A panel swings out. So yeah, what we want to do is get some nuts and bolts through those. We know we're 100% sure once we've clamped it all up, it's all good. Sorry for the tractor noise. And you can just see the swage. Hopefully, you can see where the swage is going there. Needs a little bit of trimming, but I'm fairly happy with that. Fairly happy with that. Yeah, slowly, slowly. Um, what's for tea tonight? What's for tea? What's for tea? Oh, jacket potatoes and chili con carne. I don't know if uh, people like that or not, but that's what we're having. Let us know what you're having. Right, it's getting near. I don't really know wrong today, but I'll uh, show you a fuel tank that's turned up. I did order one, but actually managed to cancel that because uh, Mike. Uh, Sorry about that. I don't know. Um, my camera ran out of memory, so I uh, don't know how much I caught. But yeah, Mike kindly donated this fuel tank. Uh, cheers, Mike. It's 20 years old, been in his garage for years and years, 20 odd years. Never needed it. Uh, yeah, so it even comes with a normal filler cap because uh, 
I think they're slightly different the van ones compared to a normal one um, but anyway I don't know if I use that or not um, but the idea is we're going to cut a hole in it fit a fuel injection fuel pump to it um, so if anyone's got any suggestions I've seen a few people do it on the, the pickup forms using maybe some Toyota fuel pumps so I need something quite nice and low I don't know how much height we've got here for above this I really don't think there's much height above that if anyone's got some sort of measurement how much gap I've got whether it's half an inch an inch I'll have to just try it um, because again the fuel connections are going to come out of there so if I can get a fuel pump that's got an in and out on it that's going to be lovely uh, and yeah we just have to watch where the uh, fuel sender goes which we've got one on order so yeah not too sure what fuel pumps to use yet but we'll have a look around see what's on eBay find one that's maybe got like its own little baffle slight slash sort of like some peri in it swirl pot type thing but yeah that's the idea then fuel injection to the front bish bash bosh jobs are good the waffle for today is some of this stuff's turned up this mc51 safe for your skin um, again we've talked about this other stuff before cure us and things like that give this a go um yeah well, i won't try it just now but yeah turns rust into does chemical stuff sciencey stuff and turns it not into rust so yeah anyway short video that one um uh, really need to get some time on it next week i've got a few issues with work i might be going away on travel and working and stuff so you might have an end up of a whole week of no work but uh we shall just see what happens anyway have a good evening everyone catch you tomorrow